Today I'm going to review the Atelier Interactive Test Kit I received in the mail. So this is what it looks like mixing Theo Blue and Titanium White in the interactive paints that I got in my kit, my free kit, my unlocking formula, which I, which I have not tried yet. But this is a very beautiful color. It's very vibrant, very pigmented. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed. It went on pretty smoothly. A lot of the paints that I've used, it's hard to spread. <laughs> it ends up taking a whole lot of paint to spread across the canvas, and I'm actually using a hardwood. Let me show you what the paints look like out of the tube. So I was actually pretty impressed with what they look like. So this one's the Theo Blue. This one is the Titanium White. Okay, and i got to find my palette here. I'm actually using wax paper for palette because I didn't bring my palette with me. I know, I'm very unprepared as an artist. The test of an artist is how creative you can be when you don't have the tools that you need. So, that I guess is one of the tips of the day <laughs> that I'm giving you is that if you don't have your art supplies with you, there's always something you can use. Anyway, so this is the beautiful Theo Blue. I don't know if you can see that. I'm kind of in the light, but that's pretty uh, nice consistency there. And I'm going to mix it with the white. Let's get this. It mixes so well. Much better than the other paints that I've used before. So I'm going to add some of this to my canvas. That is so beautiful. You see how nicely it goes on the canvas, or on the hardwood rather. This is so much easier to spread than the other paints that I've used. Now granted, when they do say that it it uh, dries fast, it really does dry fast. So I'm kind of curious to see if that unlocking formula actually works. Because if it does, all you acrylic artists out there will love it because then you can keep blending past the drying time which is absolutely wonderful. And I think it's thinned out because I had my brush in water um, to kind of rinse off what I had before so that's probably why it's a little thinned out. We're gonna grab a little bit more paint here and work this in to what we're doing. That is just really, really beautiful. I wish that you could feel the, the action of this paint because it's just like, like what they say, it's buttery smooth. It's like painting with butter. Very nice. It gives very good coverage. You don't need as much paint as what I've had to use with um, I think I use the Liquitex brands, um, so you tend to use a lot more paint when you're uh, when you're doing these things. Thing too, like when you're first starting out as an artist, don't spend too much on your supplies because if you're serious about it, you're going to replace them anyway. That's one thing I've learned. Um, it's better to to go a little bit on the cheaper side if you're not sure if you want to do painting for the rest of your life. Like if you're just getting into it as a hobby and you're thinking you don't know whether you want to do it as a professional, um, don't spend thousands of dollars on paint brushes and paints and stuff. Go for the cheaper stuff. Um, 
in, in you know the beginning and then if it's something that you really really want to do then you can upgrade so I can't tell you how much I've spent on brushes along the way I approve very nice <laughs> 